All right. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a good Friday. Today is Friday. Tomorrow will be the weekend, and hope you have a great weekend coming up. I want to thank my good friend, Jim Acklaw. Um, yes, Jim, I did watch your video. <laughs> and with my latest issues with the YouTube police not allowing me to comment on your and Station 67's videos, I, I didn't even attempt to try to comment. Maybe one day I'll get up my nerve to try it again, but <laughs> until then, <laughs> I just want you to know that I watch all the videos that you put out, and I really appreciate the videos that you make. You, you have a lot of really good insight and instructions on how to take care of things on different systems and I always appreciate watching whatever content you have whether it's about Linux or I really enjoy your uh, I guess I'll call them nature videos where you show the different animals and stuff that's always a lot of fun for me to watch and I appreciate it okay enough of that what I wanted to talk about today real quick it's gonna be a really quick video Jim pointed out an issue with the instructions on my crappy music player so I want everyone to know that I have corrected the issue and all it is well I say all it is it's a pretty big deal actually <laughs> um, I I put in the wrong information about how to run the system tray icon and I'm going to show that to you in a minute but I've repackaged it I have corrected the spelling and everything should be good to go now and I want to apologize to anyone that may have downloaded this and you've followed the instructions which I was very adamant Please read the instructions, but stupid me, <laughs> I misspelled something. <laughs> and the instructions aren't exactly right. So Jim, first of all, thank you so much for pointing that out. I really do appreciate that. And second of all, Jim, thank you for trying uh, my crappy music player. I enjoyed, I enjoyed watching what you did with it. All right, let's get to it. Get this wrapped up real quick. I've gone ahead and pulled up the instructions. And what you're going to see in the instructions, um, let's see, right here. Well, let me just turn on line numbers. Maybe that will help narrow it down a little bit. Um, let's see, where is it? There it is. All right, line 62. Okay. Right here, it says CMM tray. That should actually be CMP tray. So that was the first mistake, and I did the exact same thing here. <laughs> CMM tray. And that should be CMP tray. I know what happened um, before I made that available. I was using CMM tray and CMM as the uh, GUI in the scripts. So without thinking, and I, I'm very sorry for doing this, making that mistake. I just put what I was used to calling it. But it's actually supposed to be CMP tray. Okay. Now I'm, like I said, I've repackaged it, up, uploaded it to SourceForge with those corrections. And that's all it was. Um, there's There have been times... What's bad about this is I read over these instructions like five times and I still didn't catch that 
error. <laughs> there have been times that I have rebuilt ISOs because when I'd look back at my release notes, I would find one word, one little word that I may have misspelled or I didn't use the correct tense of the word. And I would rebuild the whole ISO just to correct that one little spelling mistake. So this is something that's not new to me. <laughs> but again, Jim, thank you so much. I appreciate you pointing that out. And my apologies go out to anyone who has downloaded the crappy music player and you followed the instructions and for some reason, and that's the reason, it didn't show up in your system tray. Hopefully you figured it out that that idiot Dan put CMM instead of CMP tray. But <laughs> if not, that's the issue. Okay. Again, thank you, Jim. And again, thank, uh, thank you to anyone who has tried this crappy music player and my apologies to anyone that's had an issue with that right there. All right, that's it. Thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend coming up. Okay, take care.